Hi, my name is Sarah Beakley Mercil, and I am your instructor for CIS 103 Introduction to Social Media. Welcome! This video is here to give you a tour of my online classroom and to help you get started as uh, you begin working on the content for the course. If you have never taken an online class at Scottsdale Community College or you've never taken a class from me, this, is, this video will help orient you to how I have the course organized. And I'm super excited if this is your very first online class. I know you're going to have a really good experience. What you're looking at is Canvas. Canvas is our learning management system and it is how we deliver all of the courses here at Scottsdale Community College. So this is where you're going to find all of your lectures, all of the um, activities, uh, your grades. There's even a tool to send emails and communicate with me, your instructor. And so when you take any class at Scottsdale Community College, you'll see that they're all organized very similarly and that there is always a home link at the top. So when you enter the class, you'll always land on this home page. And then these first two modules, welcome and first steps, will always be the same. I've built the course in a linear fashion, so you're literally going to start at the top and work your way down. Now the view that you're looking at is what's called instructor view. You can actually see a lot more information uh, in this video than you'll see when you actually log into the course. The reason being is I'm creating this video before the class officially begins and I have a lot of things locked down and so I wouldn't be able to preview them in this video if I was looking at it from uh, the student point of view. But I will switch to student point of view here in a few minutes so that you can see a few things. So when you land on this home page, this first module, any these gray boxes, first steps, week zero, these are each called modules. And you can actually expand them. In fact, they might already be open when you log into the course. But you can expand and hide them. I always like to do that when I'm done working with something. I hide it so it just keeps my environment clean. And you're going to click on this very first link called Welcome to CIS 103, Introduction to Social Media. And so this is a page and you will read through all the information, you'll watch the videos, click on links and review everything. You are responsible for everything that you see in the course of all the reading, all the assignments. And when you get to the bottom, there's a button called next down here. When you click next, it'll take you to the next page or activity in the class. And so the next page you'll land on is information about me or instructor. I have, I am a residential faculty, so I do hold office hours five days a week, as well as I have time in our tutoring lab. And I'm also available for appointments, uh, you know, email, phone if we need to, um, or meeting in person. Now what's really unique is that we have a second instructor in the course, a tutor. Uh, his name is Nicholas Bordon and um, he's pretty amazing. He actually uh, works for Oregano's in their social media. So Nicholas is going to be the tutor for the class. He will actually be holding uh, tutoring sessions on campus as well as uh, doing what we're calling online live learning inside the classroom once a week where he will be talking about different um, things happening in social media. You know, social media is a very current topic. Things change every day. So he's going to spotlight different things happening in social media, uh, different discussions, as well as help you with any of the projects. Um, and, and this online live learning session will be on Saturdays from 2 to 3. You are not required to attend. If you can't make it, that's no problem. Every weekly session will be recorded and it'll be available for you to view at your own uh, leisure uh, for a 14 day period. So uh, definitely welcome Nick to the course. You're going to get to meet him uh, later in the week. But I am your primary instructor. I will be uh, teaching you. I will be grading your work. I, if you have questions, you want to send them to me. Um, you know, I'll be the best person to answer those. So I'm um, definitely very excited to have Nicholas. And Nicholas will be teaching the second section of this Introduction to Social Media course uh, that starts in October. So you can read through and read all about me and all about Nicholas. And you can come to the next page and click Next. And so the next section in this welcome module is called external course resources. And what this page is all about is uh, if we require you to use another tool in the class, we're going to list it here. So you should know that you will be required to create accounts for YouTube, Twitter, and Pinterest. And you will be required to post content on all of these platforms that is part of the class. Um, you can just create them uh, with your SCC email if you need to. And if you need to shut those accounts down when the course is over, that's fine. But those are required part of the class. And so that's what this page is all about. 
And then the last page is what's called Online Learning Essential Short Course. And you will learn about this. You're going to get a welcome message from me, a letter, and you will see that um, you're going to learn more about it. But this is a new tool that we piloted this past summer. And now you'll see in any of our online classes where we have put together a, a course. It'll take you about an hour to complete. It might take you a little bit longer, but it orients you to Canvas. So if you are brand new to online learning or this is your very first semester in your very first class, um, this is definitely, this short course is meant for you. If you have taken many classes here, this is definitely a nice review. And um, it's just going to go through Canvas and the tools and best practices for how to be a successful online student. And once you've completed it, you'll earn this super cool badge right here with Artie in it. And that'll post to your badges page. And then you'll be able to send a copy of that to me and I'll give you 20 extra credit points. So that's pretty awesome that you can earn some extra credit right off the bat. What's, and don't worry if you've already done the online learning essential short course in another class, no problem. You can just send me a copy of your badge and I'll give you the 20 extra credit points. So if I ever want to go back to the main menu, I can just always click this home button here. And you'll see those are those four pages we just went through under the welcome. The next section you'll see in all of your um, Canvas courses is called First Steps Helping You Succeed. And what you'll find here are all these um, academic resources and college policies. This will always be in the class available to you. So if you ever, you know, want to know where you're taking a math class, hey, where's the math center? Hey, I can click on this link and find more, uh, more about it. Or hey, I can't remember how to set my profile and settings so that I get all the announcements from my, from Sarah when she sends them in Canvas. Or maybe I need to know where the library is. Or I'm a Veteran, what services are available to me. All of these resources are for you and we've placed these links for easy access in your course and they're always here and if anything changes or gets updated we're able to push those updates instantly to all of the courses on campus. So those are the first two modules of the course. Now I'm going to go over here and switch to student view. So when you log into my class this is actually what you're going to see. So you will see all Eight, this class is an eight week accelerated online class. So you'll see that there's content every week. You will see that when you log in, only these first four modules are open through week one. The rest are locked. Um, and then the content will always open. You can hover over it. This will open on August 30th. So I open the next week, the Friday before. So you can go ahead and expand week zero. This is um, content. I'm going to open the class early and this content can be completed early even though it's not due officially until the first week of the class when it starts. So if you're watching this video before the class starts, it's awesome when you're done. Get started on these assignments. If you're viewing this on the first day, no problem. You can totally complete all these assignments. They're pretty short, pretty quick. These are what I call housekeeping assignments. And then week one actually starts next week. And you will see that um, there's a lot of different assignments for you to complete. So at the top of every week, I will have a link to post general questions. This is a general discussion board. So if you send me an email and maybe I haven't answered it quite right away or you just have an immediate question you can post here and if somebody else in the class has an answer they can reply so this is just another place that you can get help you can of course always email me um, and there's a few other things that um, you can uh, email me you can post to the general discussion area uh, and then there's something that I call the muddiest point, which you'll find at the end of every week, which is uh, you can do this anonymously where you can post uh, anything that was unclear and I will answer all those questions. I'll post them in the class and I, you know, I won't say who posted them. You can be anonymous. You don't have to give me your name and I can just review any material that was extra confusing. So there's a lot of different ways for you to get help. So definitely ask questions. Don't sit there at your end. You know, if you don't know how to do something, ask me. I am here to help you. And so you'll go in and each module you'll see there's a welcome which is going to click on it. It'll give you an overview of what's going on in the class. And then there are no required um, textbooks. All of the content has been um, curated and crafted by me, the instructor, and other instructors who have taught this course. And so all of the content, you don't have to pay any money for that, no textbooks. You'll be able to read all of it here and there's many links and videos and you are responsible for exploring all of them. So I definitely, if you ever see a link or a video, I want you to watch it or click on it. 
remember, this is an eight week class. This is accelerated. So uh, you, there is an expectation that you're spending anywhere between 15 and 20 hours a week on all the material for this course, not just doing homework. So that does include all the reading and learning and discussions and everything else that we have, all the other activities. So you see there's a lot of great information in this material for this first course document. You would click next and you would see there's a self-check quiz. I'm going to go back home. And um, so there's different kinds of activities. Self-checks are not graded. They're just there to check your knowledge. You can take them as many times as you want. Quizzes obviously are graded. Um, you have two attempts to do a quiz. So it'll um, you'll uh, take your quiz. It'll grade it. It'll tell you what you got wrong. You can take a second time. And I absolutely expect you to be using the course documents to help you answer the quizzes. And then there will be some type of assignment or activity. This week there's a, an assignment for liking Facebook. It's okay if you're not on Facebook. There's an option for those who are on and those who are not. And so every assignment also has a grading rubric attached with it. So you definitely want to read that rubric before you turn in the homework to make sure you're hitting all the points. This rubric will always be attached to every assignment and it's how I assess you. Okay, and so that's what a typical module looks like. And again, here's that muddy point. This is a, an anonymous form. It's a poll. You'll click on this link and if there was just something I just don't understand, XYZ, you can write that there or even more than one thing. You don't have to, it, don't, it doesn't have to be just one thing. <laughs> and I will summarize all those and post those um, at the end of the week or at the beginning of the following week. So I consider the beginning of the week on Sunday. All right. I'm going to go back to um, uh, the course. So again, here's all the work for the course. If you do expand, click on a module that's not. Um, lock if that is still locked you'll see everything's grayed out so you can't click on it but another area I want to talk about is the syllabus so the syllabus is where you will find the syllabus for my course as well as the welcome letter I sent you and then you will actually get to see every assignment and all its due dates so I have already placed all the content out there it's just only accessible when I make it accessible to you don't freak out do not run away screaming at this point. I know this looks like a lot of work, um, but uh, remember it is an accelerated class. So this having this schedule ahead of time definitely gives you the opportunity to plan your life. You'll know that homework is always due on Wednesdays and Saturdays. I give you until midnight, see due by 11.59, but I will tell you every assignment has a three hour buffer. So I will actually accept it all the way till 3 a.m. with no penalty. All right, the last area I want to profile for you is called the announcements. I am a heavy user of the announcements in all of my classes. I will always post information at the beginning of the week. So there will always be a weekly reminder. It posts on Sunday at midnight. I certainly don't expect you to be waiting for it at midnight, but I definitely want you to read it before you start working on the content for the course. So this first uh, my uh, announcement you will see when I open the class up early but I'm just going to talk about what's happening what's happening in my class any upcoming assignments um, highlighting all kinds of stuff going on so how to ask questions and then I'll always give you a reminder of what homework is coming due so uh, definitely want to check those announcements out and read them before you complete any work for the course so that is a quick tour. I know this video is going to be ending close to 14 minutes, so I appreciate you sticking with me. Um, make sure that you uh, read through everything, and if you have any questions, don't hesitate to let me know. I'm super excited to get to know you and work with you and learn all about social media and um, see what you guys create. So welcome. Thank you.